Upload files to cloud providers, Google Drive. This tutorial applies to PHP Runner and ASP.NET version 10.7 or later. Here I have a simple customer invoice application in PHP Runner version 10.7. It is a normal one to many relationship where one customer can have many invoices. The field PDF invoices will store a PDF file for each child record, but instead of saving the file into the database or onto the disk, we will save it into a dedicated folder on Google Drive. At the Pages screen, I make sure that Delete Record is selected on the Invoices table. Not only do we want to save files to Google Drive, but also want to be able to delete them. I now go to Page Designer, but before we continue, make sure that you have Google API credentials. We are going to need OAuth Client ID and Client Secret. This can be obtained from the Google Cloud Console. I left a link in the description, or just click the link displaying here, to a tutorial called Google Drive REST API Credentials. You can watch the entire tutorial if you like, but I created chapters in that tutorial. Just hover your mouse over the timeline and you will be able to only watch the relevant topics. API Credentials is this chapter over here. This chapter explains how to add an URI. And you might be interested in this chapter that explain domain verification. We will also need a Google Drive folder ID. The folder ID is optional. If you leave it out, files will be uploaded to the root folder. To find the folder ID, proceed to that folder in Google Drive in your web browser. Here I created a folder called Invoices. Look at the URL and this section over here after the last forward slash is the folder ID. Back to the project, select PDF invoices and click on view as, edit as. Click on edit as. From the save files to drop down, select Google Drive. Supply Client ID, Client Secret, and the Folder ID. Note, I ticked Delete File when Associated Record is deleted. So when you delete the record, the file on Google Drive will also be deleted. OK, that is it. I now build and upload the project. Let's see how it works. Very important, when you open a page where cloud storage is used, in this case the invoice table, you will be redirected to Google to sign on. I select the account I would like to use and the page open. The application will save the credentials and no further login will be needed. The credentials are saved in templates underscore C and the file name is googledrive.php. If you need to change the Google Drive configuration and start storing files under a different account, simply delete that file from the server. Close all browser windows to clear the session. If you now open a page again where cloud storage is used, you will be able to sign on with a different Google account. OK, I click on Add New. Fill out the form and select a file. Save the record and let's see what happened on Google Drive. The file is in the Invoices folder as expected. Let's add another from the listing page.
we now should have two files on Google Drive. And here they are. I am now going to delete one of the child records and that should delete the file from Google Drive too. Now we only have one file remaining on Google Drive. It is worth mentioning that the same can be achieved with other cloud providers like Microsoft OneDrive and Amazon S3. What an amazing functionality.